In PHP 8.1, there is a new feature called enum. And before 8.1, if we wanted the similar feature, not to the same extent, but if we wanted similar feature, then we could define a class like this. Here, I have article status. And here I have three statuses, draft, in review, and published. And if we wanted to access it like this, then we could do it like this. And if I just run it, it will show me this draft over here because I am accessing the draft from here. But in this case, we'll not be sure that whatever thing we have passed from here or to any function where we want the article statuses, then it will be among one of these. Suppose we want to do anything based on the article status and we passed there deleted, then we don't have deleted status over here. Then also it will accept that string because there is nothing to type in. We can just guess it is a string and there is no any validation in there. But in case of enum, if we pass anything other than these values, then it will throw error. So let me show you how to define this. So instead of class, we'll say enum and instead of public const here, we'll say case. So in, in case of enum, we have cases and let me remove this draft from here. And similarly, for review and for published. And we can access it in the same way. Now, if I just click on enter and you can see here, we'll get an object of the class article status and it will have a name property and it will have a value as draft, whatever we have mentioned over here. And we can access it like this. And you can see here we can get the value like this and with the help of this we can easily accept this value in a function by type hinting it as the article status and you saw that in the previous example in the class there i defined draft in review and published as a small letter string then we can also do it here like this so we can just say here like this and draft like this and here i can say in review and here i'll say published like this and here we'll write equal to sign and here we'll add a return type a string like this and let me show you this so here if i click on run then you can see here we'll get two properties here now before we only had a name now we also have a value and if i just do value like this and hit on run then we'll see here whatever we have defined over here and in the previous example of the class, whenever we wanted to get all the cases or all these values, then there was no any options. We had to just define a method in there and we have to just return this one by one. But in the case of enum, there is a method with which we can get all of these. And the method name is guess what? Cases. So here we'll define all the case and here we'll just say here cases like this and we'll get all the cases over here like this and you can see here whenever I expand you can see all the cases over here it is so much easy and in the enums we can also define methods like that of the classes now let's say here you want to show the different statuses in a different color then you can just say here public function color and here we'll return a string like this and here we'll say return match here will be this and here we'll say article status draft and here we'll say let's say red and similarly let me copy this and here in case of review we'll say orange and in case of published we'll say here green now here article statuses let us take this in review and here we can get color like this and if I just click on run, there is an error because I passed here something that is not present in this status. And you saw this guys, I know that. <laughs> so here in case of train review, we'll just say here in review. Like this and I'll hit on run. And you can see here I am getting this orange color. Also, there is one more thing that you need to know about this. Here we can say in case instead of just accessing it like in review, we can also say from and we can pass the value over here like this and if I just hit on run then I will get the actual object over here but let's say if I pass any random value over here then it will throw an error because this is not a valid backing 
value for the article status. But let's say we don't want it to throw an exception. Then we can just say here, try from like this and pass this value. Then it will not throw an exception, but it will return null. 